12 games, maybe. Yeah, he should. Yeah. And you know, he'll he'll probably appear in you know, another 6 to 8 games. Yeah. And his injuries won't be a problem. No, of course not. And then uh, let's go, I mean, let's go to Toy then. Toy's one of those guys. He's 20 years old. Yeah. He just needs experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, he just needs to play. It's one of those deals where he needs to go to wherever it is and play some minutes. Yeah. And in fact, yeah. I would send him out on loan for two years. Yeah. yeah. And it, I mean, at 20, now obviously there are players younger than him, but he's got a lot of raw talent. Yeah, he does. And I think, you know, I, I think like... if he was out as a consistent starter mm-hmm. for, for sure a season. I, I like, think he's going to be a ball. I like his talent, though, dude. Yeah. I mean, I've seen him come in as a substitute yeah. a couple games. And I just love the enthusiasm, the what he brings to the team. He needs to harness that. Yeah. You know? And, and if he goes to Madison next year, if we get Madison. Right. Goes there and starts. Fantastic for him. Anywhere else he can go, fantastic. Yep. Um. Two guys on the list. Last two guys, Venegas and Warner. Yes. Joe Hong. Venegas. The fact that this guy is still mm. on the roster mm. is completely shocking. And he probably won't be mm. after tomorrow, so we can yeah. keep going. Mm. Uh, you know, he's been out alone all season. He had a falling out. Mm-hmm. Uh, contractual disputes. Yep. I think I read somewhere that even legal action was mm-hmm. threatened. I heard I mean, that. The dude does not belong in the roster. I'm sure tomorrow yep. is. Yep. It. Yep. And Warner, we know about Warner. He's, you know, I I think he's thirty, gone. He's making two fifty one, gone. You know, he's he's depth. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's starter material. Mm-hmm. Two fifty one is a starter wage. Mm-hmm. Um, and this really goes back to my whole point: is he's an example of how we didn't spend our money wisely. Mm-hmm. I right. mean, it, he fits what we needed. I mean, he did actually pretty well all season. But two hundred fifty-one thousand. I mean, it's just not. We spent too much money on. Well, that. again, it's it's goes back to the whole thing of this team. I think we're trying to build for three years. Okay, three years we're going to be good. You're not. You're not going to jump on board with my seven-year plan. No. Okay. Three years. Sorry. Anyways, theory. What about four and a half? Four and a half. But what sucks is. And this is the bad part about it is I look at year two and I go, is year three going to be that much different? Well, I and I think it might be. So just yeah, just so you know, I mean, uh, no, I Stevens, I, I don't. Just, I, I, I just want to make it so. clear that we made it to the alphabetically. We made it through the entire roster. So we we're did. Done with we that did. conversation. But I mean, I, I you know, is it going to be different? And this. We'll let you continue, Tony. But I mm-hmm. think this a question that I have for you guys, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe everyone listening is like is you know what is the average roster turnover in the mls year to year is it i mean looking at this list and the discussion we just had it seems fairly significant to me yeah um, where you're turning over you know maybe 50 percent of the roster maybe that's a bit high but what yeah. is what is that yeah. average number would you 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 could only guess here yeah i, I mean, what would you say I the average know. mls i'd turnover say is? it's probably more along the lines of 30 35 yeah. percent of the roster is now different. we're in a really unique situation where and we talked about this before we started the podcast where literally all of our contracts are up and that yeah, was my yeah. qu- that would be my second question is that common i i just don't think that's normal okay i wouldn't I think mean, so i just don't know yeah you know i think manny alluded to that in his interview with the athletic about I think he even said that we were in a unique situation. And I think he was kind of putting that in like a positive way. Yeah. Because he has more flexibility with what they can do, who they want to bring back. I mean, you're going into the stadium. You know the owner's going to spend the money. And and they've they've obviously had the conversation we just had over the last half hour. They've had over the course of weeks. They're they're going into much more detail than we are. Well, Well, And they have those options. They can go through their roster and say, I want him back for this reason. I want I do not want him back for that reason. The fact is, Steven, I don't trust many Lagos at this point. Well he's not the only one involved, I guess. Well but I 
But he's the main player. He should be. I don't trust him. And really, quite honestly, I I picture his office right now, like literally today. Mm -hmm. He's sitting in his office. He has a big bulletin board with all the photographs of the players. And he has a set of darts. (laughs) And he's literally going to blindfold himself and throw darts. And be, okay, those guys we keep. That's, I mean, that's how little I trust. Let me add to it. He's got a big photo of Darwin Contreras. He's like, that's the one. That's the guy I got right there. Right, right there. Yeah. I don't trust the guy. And if we're going to make a three-year plan out of the deal, what have we done in the first two years to get to that three-year plan? We didn't suck worse. We didn't suck worse. We got Darwin, right? Yeah. Romario looks like a Romario. big name in Angelo, we got some guys, okay. okay? But we need to build on that for year three. Right. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you this right now. We have a we have a couple of, uh, how would I put it? Um, we're going to sell us at the new stadium for... Right. Probably two years. Two years, right? You got two years to build this team. But after two years, if nobody wants to come and they start booing... It's not going to be good for the I, team. I'm just going to point out that you have now stretched the three-year plan to five, and you're getting really close yeah, to your I seven. No, no, no. So I, it's, just, it's just a natural I'm, talk, I'm talking about the, the more you stadium, talk out loud. Stadium. The stadium, stadium. 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 Rationalizing. I'm sorry. No, we should years. be good in three years. This whole podcast, we've been but, talking about the roster mm, and salary caps. Mm, and yeah. as you see, so you're talking out loud. And what happens is you start to realize is – that maybe you can't shouldn't. do this in three years. Maybe it might. But from, we starting should, from scratch. But we should be able to do it in three years. That's you could. the point. You could, well, but you might. That's the point. You might You might crash and burn like you think Atlanta might. I don't necessarily think they well, will. I think, but I think Atlanta but for, I think Atlanta spent way too much money But they early. started out hot. Well, they, of course they did. And if it fails, then that'll be a. a yeah. You know, that would be significant. But I think but a they team didn't make the playoffs. who's an expansion team should make it in three years. If we make the playoffs in year three, that's a win for me. Okay, if we don't, and fans start leaving well, Allianz Field. I think the exci- it is what it is. The exciting thing is, there's no reason as a fan of the Minnesota United, there's no reason to think going into next year that the United couldn't make the playoffs. They should. They they should or they shouldn't. I mean, there is definitely a, they they can go into the next season thinking they can. There's no doubt about it. I mean, they have to. Yes, there's. They have to make the right moves, but at least we have that going. I mean, we've all, okay, guys. We've all seen it. We, you guys were around when the Timberwolves started up. Okay, Timberwolves. Okay, Timberwolves. Yeah, Timberwolves. Okay, they started up. We thought it'd be in a couple of years. It'd be good in the playoffs. They sucked ass. Okay, flip side of that, the Wild. Within three years, they were in the playoffs. And they were there at the championship game for the Western Conference. Yeah, sure. I mean, we've seen all of it. And there's no reason why a team like this can't be good in yeah. playoff contention in three years if the front office I'd, does what they need to do. Yeah, spend I'd, their money wisely. Mm-hmm. I'd cu- and, yep, that is the mm-hmm. key. Yep, you nailed it. I think, I think they're on a bubble. There's no yeah, doubt about I it. Know. I mean, there's no. I mean, I'm not sitting here thinking they are going to make the playoffs 100. percent Or I'm not looking. You know, I'm not on the negative side thinking. Well, here we go again. But it, it's it's here we go tomorrow. So I had notes on who I th- like, what types of players we should sign. But I was yeah. thinking, yeah, that we should actually wait until next episode because right. we're going right. to know who we've gotten rid of. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. let's. Forget that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think we, man, you know, we talk. We spent an hour on the roster. We spent a long time on the almost, roster. Almost an hour. It's yeah, we did. Surprising to us. But that is a good way to tease it because at least next episode, two weeks from now, we'll know <laughs> yeah. who we, who, what options we, you know, accepted. Which... And it, what's even better is uh, this episode is going to come out probably. After we know what happened, oh, so, yeah. the, so the listeners can yeah. grade us on our. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be, because be perfectly honest, I, I'm a busy guy. I have a life, uh, and I'm not going to get this out tonight. No, so, you don't. 
I, I do. <laughs> I, I, I have he does a, actually. He does. I, I'm I sorry. have a magna cum laude yes. in yeah. my master's program. Yeah, 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 so yeah. let's say if somebody's listening on Tuesday and we've yeah. nailed every single mm. one of the like, hey, right? we want this guy back. No, decline. Send his money. Option. No, we aren't. We aren't recording this on Tuesday. This right. is no, Sunday, Sunday night. Yeah. The we are setting ourselves up for either massive failure or massive success. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> The funny thing is we, but part of that was kind of a, in just to, just to protect us a little bit. This was kind yeah. of like a wish list, right. you know, you yeah. know, quite frankly, maybe the money doesn't work out to all the players that we said, yeah, we'll take him. We'll take him. We'll take him. Yeah. It might not Sorry. work out from so, a financial point of view. Dr. McGuire, if you're listening, Dr. McGuire. Oh, and we nail this. I love you. Dr. McGuire. Love you. We will do a tag team, mm-hmm. uh, FO positions for fraction of what you're paying. Yeah, I'll take I, less. Yeah, I think the the ones that we're gonna have to keep an eye on to see if we were right or wrong. I think are clearly the higher hit salary cap hit yeah. guys. The the Molinos, the Ibsens, Boxels. the Boxels. Mm-hmm. Those are the guys. Mm-hmm. You know, I think we even though yeah. Gomez has a high number, we already know if we're wrong on Gomez. Then oh, good God! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I quit if we're wrong. Oh, on Gomez. If we're on Gomez, I might have to blow myself up. Um, the funny thing is, guys, we <laughs> beginning of this podcast, we're trying to figure out what we're going to talk about for two hours. Now we're over two hours. Well, it's not. There's time cut off. Okay, we're getting really we're close. close though. Yeah. We're close, and mm-hmm. we're always we're worried about uh, we're going to talk about in the off season. Well, and uh, we've shown that we can talk about off season stuff. But- the long time. Our next episode, episode twenty, by the mm-hmm. way, that's a number. It'll yeah, probably only end up being like yeah. twelve or fifteen minutes long. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You think so? <laughs> it might be. I don't know. It'll what probably be in a what brewery. Are we going to talk, talk about? We or a... it could literally be two mm. hours of us bitching about who they cut. And yeah, do. probably, <laughs> probably. Episode twenty, double <laughs> double part special. Here we come. Uh, I mean, the fact of the matter is, guys, I mean, uh, we had a problem going to this podcast saying, what are we going to talk about? And we've shown that we can talk about pretty much anything going on the loons for a long period of time. Right. So, um, so anything else you guys want to well, talk about? Okay, so yeah, what's the day of the next episode? Well, it's the... Uh, November... 25th right now so it's going to be early December 8th or 9th I'll pull it up right now so it's going to be December 9th would be yeah that weekend yeah. of the Wait, December so that's the 8th day of the final isn't it mm-hmm. December 8th is the final mm-hmm. which is no December, reason oh we, we, we could we'll do, do it the 8th, the 8th. we'll do it the 9th so we need to have we need to have a pick alright so I'm going to sit set down and say New York Red Bulls is my pick okay. I'm going St. Louis I mean not St. Louis I'm with Casey and not, I mean, I said it earlier. I'm going with Atlanta United right. for better or worse. All right, all, right. But, all right. So we'll find out next episode. We'll know. Yeah, we will. Yeah. And we're going to be at a, another. That episode will probably be at another uh, brewery. I hope it'll be in your garage. No, you can't. Oh my God. Can you God, imagine no. that? Like, I, like hand I want to say, I came today. I came in layers. Mm. I am. I was ready to go for the garage. I mean, the thing is, I, I thought about it. For a little bit, I said, well, I turned the warmers on for a while. Have it all warmed up by the time we got there. And then hopefully for two or three hours, it stays where it's at. But we tried this a couple of weeks ago. Sterling, we tried that. And the warmers are very loud. Yeah. Mm. There's a weird hum. It's a weird mm. hum. And we don't mm. want that. So let's I just like, do it in my basement. And it's fine. Yeah. I like the din of a bar, but not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not the mechanical yeah. arm hum, but. So we have to decide where we're going to do it next time. I, there's a lot of different places. We have uh, 10K Brewing, which we haven't been to yet, right. in Anoka. We have Torch Solmed up in Fridley. Uh, those are two my two uh, big chant or big uh, a new new brewery would be great. And there's we also want to get back to some of the great breweries that we've already been to. Well, like do we made citizen. our return trip to Alloy, which was wonderful uh-huh. last time. And dual gosh, citizen, yeah, we yeah, gotta, we gotta we, reach out to dual citizen. We dual citizen, yeah, on. we gotta see what's going on with those guys. I mean, uh, obviously, with the holidays, they, mm-hmm, their schedules mm-hmm. may get crazy. Who knows what's going to be yeah. happening? We like to do this podcast at different breweries, and we've tried to. As much as we can. Um, this weekend we didn't because it's Your Thanksgiving car. weekend in my in my car. 
I don't want to talk about my car anymore. But you got a beautiful new car sitting in the garage. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I wanted to keep the Mazda for another five years, Steven. So that's the deal. I, that was the deal, man. Oh, believe me. If I crashed up my Impala, uh, I, I'd be miserable. No, well. you wouldn't. Because yes, I would. No, you love that I, Impala. I do. And that's why I would be miserable. Because yeah, I've owned it for...